Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the finished upgrade. Got everything on there. I took off the riser off the stock here. Uh, basically this is the wood that came off of it. And uh, I got the, uh, you know, I got the, all this stuff on here now. And I've got the hollow sun. Uh, this is the ACCS reticle I have on here. Um, I took it off, I had it sitting on that 22 AR. Uh, what's gonna happen is the one that was sitting on here, the atom ball is gonna go on that one. One of the things that's gonna be interesting is uh, this Hollison has the bullet drop compensator, and of course the AK has the built-in uh, um, drop uh, compensator on the rear sight. It will be interesting to see if the two compensators agree with each other. So that's something I'm looking forward to, to playing around with. Um, the, basically, this installation it is an installation that should only take about 10 15 minutes. It basically took me about an hour. Uh, the, um, the problem that I had this time was a little different than the one I had last time. Um, and it wasn't related, the pro neither, in neither case was the problem anything to do with Midwest and, and, and the things I was putting in. Uh, the problem was with the AK itself. The last time I had a hard time getting the, uh, the wood off of the gas tube. This time, I had a problem getting the gas tube back into its position and that's without the gas tube touching any any of the Midwest stuff um, you know AK builders are notorious for basically just hammering stuff into place when it doesn't fit um, the thing is that they're doing it in a factory and if they break it they can easily replace the part that they break uh, I'm not in a position to easily replace the parts that I break, so I have to be very careful as far as uh, putting that gas tube back in there. What I had to do is I basically I took this little sanding block and I just had to carefully file down um, the top of the gas tube, basically this piece right there. Because basically what the problem I was having is that this lever, that this locking lever, was, would not uh, go down. Uh, and it was like off by just a hair. And like I said, they probably just used a hammer, probably just hammered it in uh, at the factory. And if I did the same, if you know, there's a good chance it might work. There's a good chance I might have broken something I didn't want to break. So um, I didn't want to break this little lever here. So I went, I took the slow approach and I just carefully filed it down um, enough so that I can get this, um, you know, this this lever to uh, go into place. Okay, uh, so. I'm going to let this basic, I'm going to let the Loctite um, settle overnight and tomorrow I'm looking forward to uh, doing some accuracy, test, accuracy testing uh, with this, uh, what is now a new AK-47, even though it's not a new AK. Uh, one issue I did have is the cleaning rod will no longer go all the way in um, and I assume that it has something to do with this little plastic piece that's over here, kind of, uh, well actually back here, that little plastic piece I showed you earlier that guy that keeps these two pieces from rotating against each other. I, I have a, I suspect that that's somehow interfering with this. Uh, one of the things that I noticed that while I was in there um, is that these threads that they have on this do, don't do anything. I mean basically this is probably like a uh, uh, a standard uh, uh, cleaning rod that they have for AKs and it's not specifically matched up to this one. So this AK did not have any place for these threads to thread in. The thing that holds it in place is basically once you put it in and it goes in deep enough, basically it basically bends back and catches under here. Okay, so that's what's holding this in place. Um, and, um, and basically because of that, that piece of plastic back there that I have to put, basically it's off by pretty much the amount of that thread. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm just going to I'm just gonna cut off that that the end, probably like a, a quarter of an inch over there, uh, and then it will be able to go in deep enough and, and lock in place um, where it's supposed to. Um, so that's that's the only issue that this upgrade, uh, uh, you know, that's the only issue I had with this upgrade. But uh, I'm I'm loving it. It looks cool. I did not use the. I ended up not using the grips that came with it. They gave you these plastic grips that would go on top of this. They'll go into the key mods and you grip it. I didn't like the way it, it looked on there. I didn't like the way it felt in my hands. Um, it, it, you know, I, I just didn't like the period. So 
I'm not using that. If, if this gets too go too hot, I'll just use a glove. Um, and for that, for the most part, if this gets so hot that I can't touch it, I probably want to stop shooting it unless I'm in a war because I don't want to. I don't want to basically burn out my uh, my uh, my red dot. Uh, so holding this bare hand will kind of be a good indicator of when I should probably let the gun cool down. Although, I mean, you can. I mean, these the hollow suns are designed to run pretty hot, so it probably wouldn't be. Too much of an issue, but um, but anyway, like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, to shooting this tomorrow and seeing uh, if there's any accuracy improvement. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow.